Hello everyone, it's Jean. I just want to share um, a few uh, things that I've made. Um, they are a gift for someone actually. Um, so I just thought I'd share them with you before they get sent off. Um, so the first one that I made was this corset. And um, I got this from Elegant Creations on YouTube. And um, she has got a tutorial up. And also the um, the template for doing the corset. And she's done quite a lot of these. I think she's doing them for a giveaway, actually. Um, but I thought they were rather nice as, to make as a gift. Um, so this is my version. And um, this is the, the print on the back and the front, actually. But you don't see as much on the front. Uh, and then this is the second part that goes over it. And um, I've just aged it with this pretty gathered lace and uh, put a little flower with another little one on top. And uh, I think these were gifted to me from Janine, I believe. And uh, then I put this little uh, braid uh, round the edge and um, done the tie with this satin ribbon. And for the uh, eyelets, I put these brads in and I thought they looked quite nice and uh, then we've got these three flowers there's three different kinds of lace I've got this one here this little tassel lace and then this one and I've double a double layer of that one um, and I've stitched all around the edge uh, to put it together so that's how that is and inside we've got a little journal and it isn't a decorated journal I've used the the same uh, print uh, for the corset uh, and just aged it with this cotton lace uh, and this one that's on here uh, and as I say it's not decorated it's for the person who's receiving this to decorate it as they please just do with it whatever they wish um, I used a graphic 45 to line the inside and then we've just got uh, all these coffee dyed papers there's quite a few in it so it will make a decent little journal and um, I just left the the cord ends quite long so that whoever gets this can uh, put something on the end if she wishes um, so that's the the corset and uh, I love how that's turned out I think it's really pretty Vintagey looking but pretty. So that's that. Pop that there. Uh, the next thing that I made was um, another kit from uh, my porch prints, and um, I'll just untie the ribbon. It is fastened on the back, um, but it's like a little envelope folder, and it fastens with a magnet. And when you open it. We've got this envelope and inside the envelope is a little journal again and uh, this is just a little writing journal and you can see how it's decorated. Even the little corners are in with the kit. It's a really nice little kit and uh, just these pages and I've sewn them in just in a three hole pamphlet stitch and we've got a little pocket at the back with a little journaling card. Well, you, you went in and you came out, that's it. <laughs> so, yeah, so that goes in there. I'm doing it all the wrong way around, sorry. It's really cold in this craft room and, uh, well, you know, I struggle a bit. Uh, and the envelope flap just tucks in that little stamp. And then here, we've got a little... Uh, it's like a little file folder journal. Um, it's very similar to the little tiny uh, micro mini journal that I showed you um, in that little tiny folder. So on the front, we've got uh, create here uh, and a little tuck spot there. And here we've got a pocket 
and we've got some ephemera that I've backed onto card so that you can journal on the back and we've got a pocket here with some more ephemera another pocket here it says dream paper's really pretty it's lovely really nice ephemera in here there again it's all backed with card and another pocket there's a pocket on each one of the pages with uh, a journaling card another pocket a little stamp really pretty aren't they and another journaling card and the last pocket says imagine and I put the some more of the ephemera and then here now I'll be honest with you I can't remember if that's in the kit or whether I got it from another kit of my porch prints. Um, it's a while since I did these, so um, you have to forgive me. I'm not sure about that. But anyway, I just put this clock uh, just for a little tuck spot, just to put the rest of the ephemera in there. I thought that was quite nice. So that's that's that. Tie it up again if I can without fumbling around. There we go. So that's number two. And the last one that I made was a Christmas themed one. And uh, it's an Artemis kit. Um, that I'd bought, uh, well, quite a few weeks ago, intending to use it for Christmas, and I'd not used it. And then I watched um, a video of G. Kerr, and she'd got the same kit, and actually what inspired me to use it was the envelope that she'd made, because she'd done a very similar envelope and put these words that you get with the kit... Uh, across the front of it and I thought that was re a really nice touch so I did take that idea from G um, but I ju this just slips off actually this print um, is not from the kit uh, I got this from uh, from the internet uh, so it's my own print and I used that to make the envelope and to decorate the envelope I put the Merry Christmas from the, that you get in the kit. Uh, put these little poinsettias on top of this. It's a bit of cheesecloth and a bit of uh, lace. Uh, put these little poinsettias. And a little booklet that I put on a bulb clip. Now, it is a little workable booklet. Um, <laughs> it's, as you can see, it's very tiny. And I'm not going to undo it because it took me ages to get that little bow. And really, it is for just, just for decoration. But if the person wanted to write in it, she couldn't do it. And I have stitched the pages in, um, you know, so it is, it is workable. I put this lovely lace again on the bottom. And uh, inside, I just backed it with coffee dyed paper and did this zigzag stitch in red. And inside we've got a decorated journal this time. So let me pop that there. So on the front of this I've used exactly the same um, cardstock that I used for the envelope. Uh, I've decorated um, the cord from the uh, when I stitched the signatures in. And I've got two little Christmas bells here. They're so pretty. So I just left those on the end. It says Joy to the World. And I left this, or put this uh, lace on just to match the envelope. And that's on the back and the front. 
and we've got the zigzag stitching all the way around again uh, as you can see on here so it's the copy dyed paper again to match the envelope and then i'll just go through the uh, through the pages um it is mostly Artie May's kit, but I have put a few of things in of my own stash because I just felt that it, it just needed something to lift it, actually. Um, so this is a, a, a pocket, so you can tuck something in there. Um, I've got a double, two double circles here that you can uh, put these tags in. So one at the back, and this is a double tag, actually. Uh, on a, a bulb pin and that goes in there like that and we've got these little tags um, on the side a pocket with some just let me make sure the time in shot I have to get up to have a look I'm a bit far up aren't I that's better Move these out a minute. Right. Um, yes, yeah, so it's another page. I've deckled all the edges, as you can see, uh, and just inked it. These were from my stash. This is a little pocket with a couple of tags. Uh, this is a little mason jar, a tuck spot, and... Uh, another little uh, double tag with a, a bulb pin and that, this one's got a, a little Christmas tree charm. Another pocket with a, an envelope and a little uh, booklet that you can journal on. This is a little envelope that uh, you can just pull down to, to journal on. And uh, we've got, on this bullpen, we've got a little bell. Uh, and a poinsettia from my own stash. And that was from my stash. Some more tags. This little pocket. I ought to put this on something else because it's slipping on this glass mat that's from my stash and that is as well little booklet here i put two circles just to to hold this little booklet so that you can journal in it from my stash uh, another double circle there and we've got a little reindeer charm these were from my stash uh, an envelope here and a mason jar that's a little a double mason jar for journaling in. Uh, another envelope with a double tag. That was from the kit. This is from my stash. It's a little cart with holly and what have you on there. Santa from my stash. Another little envelope for journaling in. Uh, poinsettia in the holly was from my stash and this poinsettia I just thought they lifted the kit a little bit actually just felt as if it needed more these were from my stash as well a couple of tags here and a little tuck spot here a couple of tags Another pocket, another little, that's an envelope or a, 
Oh, it's a little, yeah, just for journaling on. And another tag. Another envelope here. One of these double circles again, a tuck spot and a couple of tags at the back. Some more tags to tie those together. I think this is a little booklet. Yeah. And the last one. This is another envelope and another little tag that I've done double so that you can journal in it. And that, I think, is the last page. Yes, that's it. And this goes in this with a little envelope there you go. and the ribbon just slips on nicely hopefully there we go so that's Three little gifts. So there we are. I hope you like them. Thanks for watching. And it probably will be the last video that I do now before Christmas. Um, so if it is, I'm. I wish you all a very happy Christmas. I hope it's all that you you wish for. Um, and I'll see you in the new year. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye bye.